Hey everyone, my name is Jayesh and today I'm going to show you how to get started with Storefront 2 Shopify PWA project. I'm also walk you through the demo how to create a Shopify private app and retrieve the Storefront access token to connect your with Storefront 2 PWA application with your Shopify. At last, we install uh, all the dependencies for our used of run to application and run our demo locally. Okay, good. So before I get started, I assume you are familiar with NPM or Yarn Package Manager. You had installed Node version 10 point or higher and your NPM version is higher 5.2.x. I'm also assuming you are familiar with the Nux JS framework basics and so on and so forth. I recommend to go through all this first and then after start this demo. So let's get started. The easiest way to get started with user friend to Shopify application is by installing uh, their CLI utility. You can install it with the help with the help of npm command. All you have to do is just enter npm c install at the rate user front slash cli command package will help you to create uh, essential files and detect the structure for your PWA application as i had installed uh, this package earlier i'm not going to install it again once you install this package in your application uh, it's time to initialize your project with the help of npx command all you have to do is turn the command npx at the rate list friend slash cli in it once your project initialize it will ask you for an option to start with enter your project name uh, inside the first option, I call my project uh, as a BSF2 hyphen Shopify demo. On the next step, choose the backend con e commerce kernel integration option to Shopify beta. Actually, it's not beta anymore, we will read off beta term very soon. So for now, let's call it uh, Shopify beta and select that option. Great. It's time to install the Vista Country PWA dependencies. All you have to do is navigate to project directory and install dependencies via npm or yarn command, whatever you prefer. It may take a while to install your project dependency packages. Alright, let me quickly open the project in my IDE. Here uh, we just need to replace two parameters. Uh, one is the Shopify API domain and storefront access token. For API domain parameter, head over to your Shopify store backend and copy the URL from your subdomain dot my Shopify dot com and paste it inside the domain parameter. Good. Next, we need to generate a storefront access token. We can generate a storefront access token with the Shopify private app. So let me go through inside my Shopify admin and create a new private app. Enter your app details as per your requirement. I quickly add my emergency developer email account. We don't need admin API for our 
PW application, all we need is just storefront API. So let's just decrease option. Okay. Next, I choose my permissions. Make sure you choose your permission wisely because we don't need all of these permission for uh, our PW application. For demo purpose, I choose all of them. I press the create app. Once your application is created, you will find your storefront API token at the end of the page inside the storefront access token field. Just copy it to field value and put it inside the storefront access token parameter. Awesome. Now it's time to run our application. Just head over to your terminal and hit the yarn dev command to run the application in development mode. It will build your client and server dependencies and bundling your packages. Once your application package ready, you will be able to access your PWA store on the listening URL which is mentioned over here. Let me copy the link and uh, paste it inside my browser. Our PWA application is uh, running successfully. Pretty easy, right? The default Shopify demo is come with the view storefront to Capybara team, which has ready to use elements like hero sections, promotional sections, navigations, logos, search bar, all those things. You can customize your this storefront UI components uh, as per your requirement. I can see the navigation is pretty uh, smooth. Right? Here I can see different product catalog listing. Let me jump quickly jump to the collection page where I can see list of the products or related to these collections. I can short my collection with the different uh, parameters. Mm -hmm. I can change my collection list view to grid view and vice versa. Let me quickly go to any one product and try to add it to my cart. You can also check the uh, product availabilities over here. I can see the size and the product options, color options. Mm -hmm. Let me check uh, if any other products are available for cart or not. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can add this product to my cart. Quickly add my cart. Awesome. You can see the not beautiful notification appear over here. I can see my existing cart in the cart drawer. Let me quickly go to checkout. Once I click on the checkout page, it will initiate my Shopify checkout page where I can fill up my uh, order details over here and press the continue button. Let's keep this in matter as it is and continue to payment. Let me quickly add my card detail. And press the pay button now. Great, our order has been successfully placed. We have intentionally add a redirection from thank you page to our PWS store. All right, next, let me jump quickly jump to the uh, customer account pages where I can fill my user details over here. and enter my password yep 
here i can see uh, it will redirect me to the account pages where i can see my profile details over here and my name my email address i can edit my profile where i can change my first name last name i can change my existing password which will be new one i can manage my address book over here You can see uh, my form is validated with the proper validation. Let me click my update my profile. It will I successfully update my address book. Here I can see my past orders history. I, you can see I had a couple of uh, old orders and the new one is listed over here pressing on this uh, key i can i jump into the order detail page where i can find my order informations so that's all i want to show you to the a quick walkthrough demo of getting started with mr fun to shopify bw store next all you have to do is just extending your user friend to composable and store front ui components as per your requirement and all you are good to go if you have any questions, you can send email to us on demo at We are happy to help you. Thanks for watching.